All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching 86, episode 13. Uh, don't have anything to say before the start of this episode. Um, really, just nothing special. So, uh, as always, guys, I like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, it's Christmas. December 18th. Okay. Oh, they got actual jobs, not like soldier jobs. Nice. Oh, they've all actually, like, fit into society. They're just doing their own thing. No way. Oh, look at him doing his art as well. Hell yeah. Oh, this is so nice. Whether or not this is just for a kind of a short time or anything like that. It's so nice that they're all getting things, getting to do things they want to do. Living normal people. Oh, the kid. Does he have a scary face to her? Aww. I mean, I'm very good around kids, sir. Who knows? She's just scared of him. He's got a, such a bleak, terrifying face, probably, to a child. Oh, big brother. <laughs> good question. Eugene Drunks. Nice to meet you, dude. <laughs> Hello there! Oh, she talks to her just fine. That's cool. You are also a little kid. <laughs> I love her little bratty voice. I love it. <laughs> Such a good voice actor. <laughs> oh my god, this kid. <laughs> Does he even have any money? It doesn't work like it does on the TV, does it? <laughs> Where do I know the voice from? It sounds like, um... What's the pig's name from Seven Deadly Sins? Hawks? Is it? it kind of sounds like that. This dude's carrying a fridge! God damn, they are strong. <laughs> are they all... I hope they're all, like, still living together and stuff. Chilling, you know? I like how they call it the holy birth and not like Christmas or anything. They are fitting him well. I hope they're still like keeping in touch with each other. I assume they're living together. Aww. You don't have to forget, you can just move forward. Oh my god. Dude can't move on from being a soldier, man. Oh. Oh boy. He doesn't know he used to be a sort of like <laughs> one of the best soldiers, most definitely. He doesn't know. Is it only him looking after his little sister then? Oh, attack on time. Yeah, you can't really take the soldier out of him, can you? Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, every time she walks past the shop, she wants us to come in. <laughs> oh, I just realized what he did. He tried to call them on the thing. Oh. <laughs> Imagine saying a mobile phone is inconvenient. Lol. Um, I guess so. The other nation that they were obviously fine on behalf was a lot more technologically advanced. Understandable. Can't just have citizens walking around with weapons. Oh. Shin, man. I guess it's hard for him just because, sure, he can take it easier and he does deserve it, but like. He must think that he's so good at what he does, like, who else should do it? I don't know. And of course he has a goal to seek revenge, revenge, you know what I mean? Not revenge, but like... Who does she like? The one person she did like died, didn't who? Even if this brief moment of peace is... Brief. It's still nice that it happened. Bro. 
Like, the instant they hear something like that, they just soldier kicks in. Like, oh god. Look at him. Aww. I literally can't take a soldier out of them, it's so harsh. Literally none of them have ever even considered giving fault to their future. This is so hard, man. What is wrong with this kid? Hey dear, welcome back. <laughs> is she hungry or something? Yeah. <laughs> Goddamn kid. <laughs> I love this kid. She's so funny. She's so full of personality. I assume he can't cook <laughs> at all. This kid really does talk about some big stuff, doesn't she? Oh. How did she know that? <laughs> God damn. He's a freaking soldier stealth kicking in. I brought alcohol. <laughs> Bro, the war has messed up these kids, man. Oh, wow. God, it must be so scary for them. They're not. They just don't want to think about the future at all because that's what's ingrained into them. Do they have to move on, or can they at least like enlist in this country's military so they could fight and still come home to somewhere? So I guess they're moving on. Oh man, I don't want them to move on. We just met some cool characters here. God damn this kid! <laughs> <laughs> gonna be a powerful adult one day. Are you sure this is not like a 40 year old in a child's body or something? Oh, That's nice, at least. I can never hear Tatakai different again. It just reminds me of Eren. What has this kid been through? She's so goddamn smart. Augusta Frederica Adel Adler. What? 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 She's like... How old is this kid? Oh my god, what the fuck? Yeah, please. Are you not. That's a valid question. Is this like an adult in a child's body? What? Oh my... What the hell is happening? This music is fire, too. So suspenseful, holy crap. Bro, that episode felt like two minutes. What the hell? Looks like we've got something at the end as well. Look at them. Even the little kid is coming with. What the hell? Alright, so that was episode 13 of 86, or season 2, episode 2. Um, wow, what? The, that last five minutes just went from 0 to 100 real fucking quick. This kid, Frederica, who is apparently... I have no idea. I, 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 I might have to... I need an explanation as to what exactly she meant there, because she said 10 years ago she is the last empress, the one who made the Legion invade, etc, etc. She's a child. Like, what? But like, I'm. I understand why they wanted to obviously go back into fighting. It's all they know. It's all they can do, and they have a goal that they need to see through. Um. Obviously, they don't ha have any idea about the future at all. They've never even 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 considered that the war could end. Um. So it's it's just very it's very difficult for them. But I completely understand why they'd want to go back to it. It's it's literally all they know. They're good at it. 
hopefully, I mean, they've had their rest. I'm sure they've had such a fun time being back here now. Um, they're going to go and train in a proper soldier school. They're going to do it properly when the war ends. Hopefully, you know, they'll have more opportunities to have a normal life. Um, yeah, it's going to be crazy. Oh, my God. I love it. First episode and second episode was so good. And I'm definitely looking forward to the rest of the season, man. I'm really, really enjoying it. It was really nice to see them just chill and have a normal normal life for this short amount of time, even if it was less than one episode, but well, just one episode. Um, yeah, definitely looking forward to seeing how it's going to go from here. And that is that, guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an interesting day and peace out.